Hello and welcome to Cheap Shot Entertainment. Um, we are once again in Sutton and uh, we're here for another future show. It is Future Battle Brawl, the yearly show that is quite a unique concept to say the least. Um, there are a couple of matches announced um, with the end match, the last match being a battle royal, uh, like a rumble thing. Um, to decide the number one contender. So basically here are the rules. So the battle brawl works like this. Um, the competitors of future will be competing randomly uh, in, in uh, drawn contests. So they've all got a number and uh, they get drawn against each other. The outcomes of these matches will determine their starting positions in the main event a 20 person over the top battle royal uh, known as battle brawl um, the two competitors will start oh, so two competitors will start the rumble and we know those as Carl Kingsley and the big man rock as they don't have matches already set up and uh, the um, with the knights losers entering collectively at 3 and 6 minutes and the knights winners ending uh, sorry entering the battle brawl on nine and twelve minutes obviously the last person to be standing in the ring at the end of battle brawl will be the number one contender for the future championship so we've got a lot of things to go on on this one is the 27th of august we're bank holiday bound we've already done a uh, an aspire show as well and uh, yeah we'll keep you up to, up to date with everything that's going off thank you very much for joining us on cheap shot entertainment this is future oh, as you can tell by the music in the background Gallus picks up the victory over Brandon Brooks in the first match on the card Giving Gallus the the um, I think of the word uh, it gives him an advantage going into the battle brawl as we mentioned before. Sashi's ripping off. Oh, okay. Still got some more. Sashi's come into the ring to congratulate his money mounting partner Gallus as Brandon Brooks is unceremoniously given as a sacrifice to Sash. Gallus takes the victory in the first one. He comes out at nine minutes and Money Mountain makes sure that Brandon Brooks is at a very much a dish advantage for the, uh, the battle ball. I'm guessing that Brandon Brooks will come out at the three minute mark after the battle royal is started in battle ball. Decent match. Mismatch of sizes, Brandon Brooks put up a damn good fight, but Gallus, unfortunately, just too much for him. Is a big deal. Uh, the uh, match is now finished, second match finished with the six man tag match between. Hold on a second, Jason Joshua, the unicorn addict, Dirtbag Dave Stewart, the undisputed, undefeated king of future. Morgan Black, Adonis Page, the returning Gabriel Lee, and David Grant. Um, and it would be Dirtbag Dave Stewart who will pick up the win for his team. Um, and Adonis Page was on that team along with Morgan Black, who they picked sides at the right of the beginning. Uh, Morgan Black picking the right side, of course. You're never going to be the undefeated king of future. These three chaps go into the battle brawl at good numbers, I'm guessing around about 9 or 12 minutes. Uh, we'll soon find out how that's going to work. We've got plenty more matches than the battle royal as well. So, we move on to the next match. Decent match, lost me a little bit because of where we sat, but um, 
it worked, it worked, and rightly so, playing the King's music on the way out. There you go, that is the last match before the interval. A fatal four-way match featuring Mark Sanders, the machine Mark Sanders, Sash, David Thompson, ace high David Thompson, and Hustle Malone. Uh, it would be David Thompson picking up the victory here over Hustle Malone uh, after a stack up in the corner, double power bomb. David Thompson taking the uh, taking advantage of, of what was left for him um, to pick up the victory. David Thompson gets a good draw in the battle brawl at the end of the night, the main event coming out at either 9 or 12 minutes. So he's got a good chance of winning the whole thing. And he's returning as well. The first match he's seen. First match he's been in for quite a while. We'll join you in the second half. Oh, once again, as you can tell by the uh, music, Kaya has won this match for her team with Benjamin Harland against Joseph Cardinal and Bendigo. Um, obviously, with the events of last month, uh, Bendigo was in between wanting to get his tag titles back and you know being the tag partner of Jose Cardinal there's something going off in the ring so Bendigo has chucked down the title in front of uh, Benjamin Harland one half of Act 2 one half of the future tag team champions again Kaya Those two seem to have some sort of on, the, on again, off again, huge uh, with Joseph Cardinal, usually coming up on the bad side of that, uh, you know, outcome. Um, wicked finishing move from Kyra as well, a spinning, twisting DDT spike Joseph Cardinal into the canvas. And your winners once again are Kyra and Benjamin Harlan. Picking up the victory, getting a good draw in the Battle of Brawl, which is the main event of this show. So the final match before the Battle of Brawl main event featured Jack Knudsen going over his opponent, Ricky Regan, making his future debut. Really, really good match. The only singles match of the night, Jack Knudsen goes into Battle Brawl on the last entries list at 12 minutes. So once again, Battle Brawl will be the next match on the card, the main event, the winner getting a future title shot. So we have two people starting. Two people starting, that will be Rock and Kia Kyle Kingsley. And then entries going in at three minutes, six minutes, nine minutes and twelve minutes with the losers going in first and the winners of subsequent so matches going are going in to do our first Obviously if you've won your so match you get a better chance please. of winning Battle Brawl and therefore the main event or the number one contendership for the future title. Again, that was probably the match of the night for me. So the first one for the so, second well, prize is a pink ticket and it is four nine. Right, okay. So, final match of the night. Speedo. Josh is in the back. Doing this from my car, by the way. Um, we usually do it from the inside, but it's quite busy in there. So, right. So we're going to go down the list of combatants in the battle brawl in order. Uh, it was Rock and King Kingsley starting off. Uh, Joe Cardinal, Brandon Hustle, uh, who was carrying Brandon on his shoulders. Yeah, um, Regan, Gabriel Lee. Um, I think that was it for the second lot, wasn't it? it was. Yeah, because yeah, I didn't split these up. Um, we've got then Joshua, uh, Jason Joshua rather, David Grant, Bendigo, uh, Sash, Sanders, mm -hmm. 
Um, we then oh, had oh. Harland, Black, Adonis, Bendigo, Dave Stewart. And we had Nudson, Gallus, Kaya and Thompson coming in last. Yeah. Um, incidentally, it was Regan, Ricky Regan, who was eliminated first, followed by Gabriel Lee. I didn't get any of the other eliminations. Uh, obviously, the last um, person standing. Go on then, what was you going to say? Raw got eliminated uh, by uh, David Grant. Ah, Raw got eliminated by David Grant. Um, so, yeah, like Josh says, it would be, I would imagine, setting up a feud between them. Um, and then Gallus eliminated. David Grant's King got a tag Lee. team partner, hasn't he? Gallus eliminated pretty much everyone in that last half. Yeah, Gallus eliminated mm. like 10 people. I think Grant tends to be a singles competitor. Just been put in tag team matches recently, I think. Um, anyway, <clears throat> we get down to the final four, which was Joshua Gallus uh, Sash, who was thrown into the ring when Kingsley was eliminated. Kingsley and Kai were eliminated by Gallus. By Gallus, yeah. Kingsley and Kai were eliminated by Gallus. Um, and uh, they threw in Sash, who was then part of the match. Uh, like I say, it was... Uh, You've missed the best part of the match. And uh, Brandon, who was the final four. And uh, what was the best part of the match then? The three... The... 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 Three point <laughs> oh. Dancing. The Rikishi dancing. Right, okay, yeah. There was a couple of dance breaks in there. there. One by... One by Morgan Black good. and one by Act 2, now known as Act 3, or at least for the... Well, hustle was for, guy, uh, about for the guys seconds. for about... Uh, Two minutes, maybe, yeah. uh, whilst they did the two cool dance and they gave him a pair of glasses. Um, that didn't last very long, mm. incidentally. Um, but it would be Brandon Brooks who would pick up victory here. Who spent three quarters of a night <laughs> dead. Yeah, he, like I say, he was carried out on Kingsley's shoulders. Uh, no, not Kingsley's, Hustle's shoulders. Hustle's shoulders. Um, to the ring. And... Uh, yeah, he, he did pick up the win. So he, he woke up eventually, um, spent most of the time on the canvas, sleeping. Um, but yeah, he did pick up the victory and he gets a number one contendership. Of his choosing. Um, and of, his, of his choosing, so it could be for the tag titles. There, are, there isn't... There's only two titles. There's only two titles in yeah. future. However, it does seem like... Um, Bringing more titles They're bringing more titles in from other other shows. We saw the Aspire Wrestling Alliance Woo! Championship. On the future show, but we I'll... saw it though, didn't we? And then you got the other Maybe it's the foreshadowing, time. possibly. Um, you know, um, so yeah, he can pretty much go for any title that turns up. I think I'll Hustle bought one of his what, his title as well from Wrestle Island. He did. So yeah, there's there's quite a few. I think um, you know it'd be interesting to see. The Aspire Wrestling Alliance Championship being defended on a different show, which would be pretty cool. But yeah, that is the, you know, that is the battle brawl. Next show then. That is the battle brawl match. The next show is on the twenty fourth of September. Did they give it a name? No, I don't think they did. I can't do it. Uh, didn't, they, they didn't give it a name. They usually name the shows. On the previous month they didn't do this time uh, which is a shame but there you go that is what it is and uh, yeah um, I won't give you the code because this ain't going out tonight because you can only use it for the one night can't you mm. uh, to get 10% off your tickets but, um, it is seven pound for adults general seating and uh, ten pound on the front row you can go to Big Cartel to get your tickets as well. Make sure you check out Future and uh, we'll see what happens on the next show, which will quite possibly feature a championship match between Brandon Brooks and the champion of his choosing. So, <clears throat> but overall, it's an interesting concept. Um, it works for the most part. Yeah, it's been a couple of years since we've actually seen one. It's like I say, it's definitely unique. It's worth seeing. It's 
especially for the the battle brawl itself it's very much it's a, the best bit of the night isn't it yeah it's very much a um was it a casino battle royal basically isn't yeah, it yeah pretty much um uh, from aew if you watch that but this was around before but that, this so. was actually around before that this has been going a couple of couple of years before that anyway so yeah future always a good show very reasonably priced um always good atmosphere the wrestlers stay behind as well to sign posters and things as long say as you hello. bought bought the uh poster you can also go and say hello to them that's never a, never an issue at, at future and uh, yeah just follow them on social media um also you can follow cheap shot entertainment as well the light the street light seems to have given it's out on us and mayhem on facebook <laughs> follow mayhem on facebook um so yeah follow cheap shot entertainment on facebook instagram twitter um you can also follow the reverend luke edwards the fallen uh, mayhem the monster the silent monster i might add wow. um and uh, obviously Azrael and the other fallen boys and striker um all these wrestlers follow them all if you've if you've seen a wrestler that you like go on social media give them a follow give them some support it's well worth doing um well yeah that is battle brawl for future uh, i've been luke from cheap shot entertainment you are the cheap shot nation and i'll see you again next time goodbye